Hello, my friend. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Serve it against Chelsea Football Club in Geneva, Switzerland. Second leg of the Conference League. Actually, this game could qualify Chelsea to the group stage. What we're doing right now is not even the real competition yet. It's going to be a very tough game because... They gave us hard time at Stamford Bridge. They were unlucky not to get the result. But luck is part of the business. And since then, Chelsea been doing good. They went away and beat Wolves 6-2 away. So I think we can do it. We can go there and get the job done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Take one second to help the channel with YouTube algorithm. And this will be much, much appreciated. Fight and win! This game is Mikalo Mudrik last chance, in my humble opinion. And I don't know, by the time you watch this video... He could be already loaned out somewhere. Because I am recording this video two days before the game. So something might happen and he might be gone or loan or something. So if you see a little bit of contradiction in this video, you know the reason why. Because I'm recording it a little bit early before even Mareska's press conference. So... This is the chance for Misha to show us what he can do. And I will start him this game for sure. We can't take it lightly, but I think we have enough quality to go there and get the job done. Let me give you my starting 11. In goal, Jorgensen, back four, Vega, Torsen. And I will go with Disassi because he was on the bench the last game, even though he didn't play. But I would like to give him a chance. I would prefer to play him than Badiashile. And then from the right back position, I will go with Malo Gusto because I don't have any choice. That tells you that we are really missing some important players because we need to give some of them a rest. But I have no choice at the moment. It doesn't look like the manager trusts uh, Josh Hanshipong. So probably he's going with uh, Malo Gusto instead of giving him a little bit of rest so he can play in the Premier League on Sunday. I don't think he has any choice. Okay, in the midfield, KDH need to be there. And Enzo Fernandez because we have... Two injuries in the midfield, Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia. By the time of recording, of course, it could change. Somebody might be already fit and ready to play. I don't know yet. Ice cold finish from him, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why they call him Cold Palmer, innit? <laughs> <laughs> we saw that in your celebration as well. Yeah. And then... Number 8 slash 10 position, I will play Joao Felix. Front 3, Mikalo Modric, Mark Giyu, and Noni Madweke. Hmm, let me think. Should we give Noni Madweke a little bit of rest after the game against Wolves? I don't know, but I'm going to just throw his name out there. Okay, do we have another chance? Or you can say, Noni Madweke, take a rest and probably play uh, Pedro Neto because he only played 45 minutes against Wolves. So he might be fresh. So I'm going to leave Noni Madweke on the bench, but he has the momentum at the moment. But it is what it is. You have to give him rest. I don't think he would like to be on the bench, but... For his own good and for the good of the team, probably Pedro Neto 
need to start. And don't worry about it because we can make five changes. If first half it's not working good, you can go ahead and, and make some changes. So get in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about my starting 11 here. And we have a, a lot of ammunition and power from the bench. So don't worry about anything. I don't think anybody is going to complain about the back four. The goalkeeper. It's uh, it's Jorgensen. The manager said that he's going to be there for the Cups and, and the Europa Conference League. Sassi or Badiashile? If the rumors are right, apparently Chelsea are trying to sell Axel Di Sassi. So I don't know if they're going to try to, to save him and not get him injured. And you know what? Another option is to, to start with uh, Cristo, but I don't want to see him from the winger position. I just want to see him from the middle. So yeah, that is my... My starting 11, you don't have to agree with me. You can just get in the comment section down below and let me know what you think and what will be your starting 11. Score prediction. We're going to beat them. We're going away to beat them. 3-1 Chelsea. Yes, the first uh, leg at Stamford Bridge, they almost scored. They almost beat us, but we were lucky. But this time around... We are getting better every single day. Every training session, Chelsea are getting better and better. They started understanding each other very well. And I'm not afraid of anything. Yeah, they are playing home in front of their fans and all the good stuff. But no, man. No, we're going to do it. If you're a coach, what are you telling your team before the big game? I would tell my team, if you lose, I, won't, I don't want to see your face again, ever again. That's pretty harsh. Score prediction, 3-1 Chelsea Football Club. I don't think we can keep a clean sheet. We're going to concede a stupid goal. Because Servet also are playing home. So, you know, in front of their fans, they will nick a goal. But Chelsea will score three goals. Joao Felix, one goal. Mark Giu, one goal, and Mikalo Mudrik, one goal. I really want this brother to succeed. I don't want him to fail, but if he doesn't take his chances, it's very, very, very difficult, and he has nobody to blame but himself. He's been given a chance, so many chances, but... You just don't understand football. Leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going. Go you blues.